Hello there, and welcome to a new segment brought to you from Spartan Jesters. This is MMO Weekly. Yep, MMO Weekly. This is a new thing that me and Chris are going to bring to you once a week to improve our consistency because we find that our Elder Scrolls videos are starting to lack because we can't find the information to bring one out every week on a certain day. So instead, every week, once a week on a specific date, which we haven't chosen yet, we're going to bring you information on an upcoming MMO. So, for example, this week I'm doing a video on the crew about the cars that they've announced and the tuning kits that they've shown for those cars. Next week, it might be a combination of me and Chris doing a video on The Division, for example, an upcoming third-person shooter MMO RPG. And from then on, we'll be consistently bringing out videos about information about MMOs that we like that are coming out soon. So you may see multiple videos about the crew and the division because they're big games. They're going to be coming out. Me and Chris really want those games. So we're going to be into them. But any other MMOs that pop up, we'll do something about them. But basically, guys, the whole idea of this is to have consistency within the channel and not to just be doing Elder Scrolls videos. I know you guys love them, or we think you do because they are what getting us the views, but we want to bring something else consistent that's not going to be interrupted with the fact Chris is in Australia or lacking information for the Elder Scrolls. So here you go, guys. Here's my video on the crew. Okay, guys, here we go. Here is the list of vehicles that the crew have announced so far. Starting with the Chevrolets, they have the Camaro RS 1969, it's very nice. A Camaro SS 2010, the modern version arguably. Ford, Ford have announced that they've got the Mustang GT 2011, as well as the Focus RS 2010. Nissan have the Skyline GTR, as well as the 2013 Nissan 370Z, which is definitely going to be my favourite car to drive in this game. And finally, the RUF 3400K, which is, it's also a Porsche, but there we go. Okay, so having a look at our first car here, the Chevrolet Camaro RS 1969, the tuning kit that the crew have shown on the website is performance. And the description they have for performance is anything to get the power up. Holes cut here and there, aftermarket components, track day tyres on lightweight rims, there's no hiding the intent here, the machine is built to compete. So, we get the idea that tuning kits kind of have their specific way of, well, tuning the car. For performance, it's literally get as much power, as much speed, as light as possible, as much horsepower as possible, but it's unclear as to what the performance tuning kit will actually be used for in game. As the other tuning kits are specified as street, so obviously for street racing, dirt for when you're racing around off road, etc, etc, raid, which I presume is raiding vehicles such as armored trucks and such, so you'll have like heavy bumpers and things like that, and circuit for obviously track racing so I'm not sure what performance is meant for I believe it will probably be an all-round one as power is always good everywhere but not necessarily the best as you can see here the next car is the Chevrolet Camaro SS 2010 um, the tuning kit they've put on this is the street the street description is dealer options and off-the-shelf DIY additions usable day-to-day -day ride with enough grunt to have some serious fun so they said there was going to be street racing in this game. I presume this is kind of a street racing spec you would want. But it also gives off the impression that this is the type of car you'll drive around to look cool. Because they say that it's a usable day-to-day -day ride. And I know that when I'm not racing and I don't have to have the best gear for racing, I'm going to have the gear that makes me look the coolest. The next one that you can see here is the Ford Mustang GT 2011. The tuning kit that they've shown online for this is the performance tuning kit. So you can see here it's got the hood on, a big spoiler, so obviously you get the downforce and the power. The hood's obviously just laying out what needs to be let out from the big ass engine that you're going to put in there. The next car is the Ford Focus RS 2010. The tuning kit on this is the dirt tuning kit. Now this actually looks like something that you would drive out of the game dirt. It's got the grills on, the lights on, it's got heavy duty rims you might not be able to see on there but you'll see later on in a different dirt tuning kit. Um, 
what it's got inside by the description is an internal crash cage uprated suspension dirt tires on tough rims as well as sump guards and braided housings flaps fenders and spots newer models uprated to an all-wheel drive and then it just says go tear up those backwards so if it wasn't obvious enough dirt's going to be for off-road racing over well mountains hills or maybe just off-road tracks because you can see that this car in the picture is settled on what seems to be a dirt track so it's not necessarily just bombing through woods with no distinct path like you can see in the uh, demo trailer but just general off-road use the next car, the Nissan Skyline GTR, is also another one you can see in dirt. Here you can see the heavy duty rims on it. Um, still got a spoiler, but that might just be default to the Nissan Skyline. This will be a great car, although it's normally a tuner car, it still looks pretty cool as dirt. The next car, one of my personal favourites, the 2013 Nissan 350Z, is shown with a street tuning kit. Now, to be honest, it doesn't really look that different. It just looks like it has a nicer finish, some pretty sweet rims, and a nice small spoiler on it. So, like I said, definitely going to be driving around in my street gear spec when I'm not racing. The next car, and the final car, the RUF 